athletes at Nathan Hale and McLean get full pregame meals from parents who don't even have kids who go there. But that wasn't always the case. Students around Tulsa would often go hungry until teachers and coaches started doing everything they can to help. That community effort turned something as simple as feeding their students into changing their lives. My freshman year, we wasn't really getting uh, the food and stuff we needed, so we were, we were catching cramps. A lot of people um, just falling out, not um, really in shape and stuff. This wasn't always the scene before games. Students at Hale and McLean High Schools were going into Friday hungry. A lot of them, there's not a meal at home. They don't know where their meal's coming from. I've been in their shoes, you know, um, growing up and, you know, and not knowing where my next meal was going to come from. So teachers like Todd Kramer and Linda Holt and coaches like Walter B. Williams and Willie Ponder began working to make a change. They were soon joined by complete strangers. Linda said that she had a room in her classroom and she would bring food from home, not getting it from help or an organization, her own food, and the kids would come in there and make sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly and stuff like that. I wanted to give everyone the highlights from um, yesterday when Marcus and I went to Nathan Hale and sat down with two teachers and coaches. Chantel Pettingill's kids don't go to Hale, but when she learned what the teachers were doing to keep their kids fed, she sent out a call for help. Without hesitation, the first thing out of all of their mouths was that they need food. Then I made a video and I just shared everything. And I just told them, I said, you guys, this is not okay. Like we have to do something. And it was, it was, it was immediate. That was three years ago. Tulsa moms began to see a serious issue. Hungry students going without. So at Hale and McLean, those students began getting pregame meals from people they'd never met. What I've seen is that they feel appreciated. Um, they feel loved, um, they feel wanted. Yeah, it was fun though, knowing that they had your back and you can like get some food before you eat. There's a lot of teams that don't get that. Having support is a really big thing to us because um, there's a lot of people that, that just look down on this school and just think it's bad because the kids are just misbehaving and stuff. Yeah, and then you have these these people that's pushing the kids that's inside the school to keep furthering on. You got an opportunity. Take advantage of it. What life's about, fellas, taking advantage of the opportunities and the chances you get. But sometimes they don't come back around. Suddenly, those parents feeling like they had dozens of kids they wanted to watch over. As soon as you go one time, you feel like they are your kids. Their stories, something parents like Tamara Cornell had never imagined. It's, it's hard to think about, but this, this athlete showed up late and he said, Coach, I had to help my grandmother go to the bathroom and I was struggling to figure out what I'm going to feed my siblings and I had to ride my bike here. And I thought, this guy wasn't just late. The things that they're dealing with to, to just be physically present surpass anything that, that my children are experiencing on a daily basis and that really stuck with me. Some of the kids and some of the families, they, they have certain struggles that um, certain other schools or, or institutions doesn't have. Um, so some of our kids, we may get a kid, pregame meal starts at three, you know, they have probably woken up that morning and hadn't had anything to eat. But the help didn't stop there. Coaches who had been helping far beyond practice and teachers pushing students however they could began coming to the parents to help kids with things like college applications and outfitting dorms. The impact on those kids' faces, it just, it, it literally brought tears to my eyes because I, I, I saw, I saw the, the, like, wow, someone actually cares. My coach, my wrestling coach, Coach Gray, he, um, every day after, after football practice, he takes me home. Every day after wrestling practice, he takes me home. It's just great to, to be in a, a to be in a predicament like that because a lot of a lot of a lot of people don't have two parents or uh, extra parent for help, and uh, he actually been you know kind of like an extra parent. Simple acts now changing lives for students across Tulsa. It's just life changing. You know you you, you know that your efforts are making a difference in their lives. So. Uh, 
It's, it's changed my life. It makes a big difference in, as a student and an and athlete because it pushes me, it, it, makes, it opens my eyes to see, to see that you have people out there that really cares about you. I just thank you very much for everything. Like, I wouldn't be able to be right here without you. Cause they help, they help me with every like. They help me in a part of my high school career at some part. Chris Di Maria, two works for you.